All right, guys, welcome to the Chase Daniel Show. I'm traveling, so there's no on-camera introduction, but I wanted to get this out tonight because I think it's very important for you guys to understand just how great of a game that Justin Fields had, man. He is super impressive. This is the very first play of the game. A little wheel route out and up to DJ Moore. Dime City in the snow. Do you know how difficult it is to throw in? Like, you can't even see. This video for the first couple plays is going to be a little bit grainy because, like, look at the snow that's going down, okay, and coming down. And Justin put some gloves on, didn't say a word, just went out there and balled out. And, look, I love the play call. The play call is just, like, a little out and up. It's not really a corner and go. It's more like, hey, go up there, make a move. Okay, you got a dagger right there or a post right there, and you have a basic back there. So Justin's just reading one to two. This post dagger, whatever you want to call it, is more of a clear out route. I thought um, the offensive line played really, really well. Fields only took three sacks, and a couple of them weren't not his fault. And the Falcons really just did not have an answer for <clears throat> Justin Fields and the Bears in the first half. Like, it's super impressive. DJ Moore running into the punting uh area i mean look at this look at the blizzard look at this so it makes it even more impressive with what he was able to do um in the snow throwing the ball like this like they came out launching the football and man it's just the question becomes like like what do the bears do do the bears keep fields do they draft caleb williams do they draft other people this dude i'm telling you right here right now has done a hell of a job galvanizing a locker room it's been fun to watch I've said it all along I think Fields needs to be there I think Fields needs to be the starter I uh, like I just think he's shown enough okay a little motion to two by two right here third and nine this is where I thought look they were six of 16 on third down okay but in the second half a lot of those came and they were just trying to get the game over but this is third and nine right here and I thought this is where Justin really shined this game Okay, just finding guys open. And it's not a it's not a difficult concept right here. It's just a little five to six yard out route, which I didn't love because the third down and nine, the third down yardage right there. You have a deep corner, okay, you have a shallow cross, and you have a basic. Justin has time to go one to two to three to the basic, and then the back's gonna leak out. And because Justin uses his eyes so well, okay, right here, he's looking this way. Everyone goes with his eyes. So he's done a really good job with his eye discipline in the recent past games. And this flat route defender right here, really it's a corner, which is crazy. He follows this uh, shallow cross in and Justin ends up seeing it. And this little burst check burst is able to come out here and get wide open. And so Justin gets through one, two, three, four to his fifth progression on third and nine because of the time he has. Okay. These guys uh, on the Falcons, they weren't rushing. They were so scared of Justin using his legs to get outside of the pocket, to go make plays that Justin was able to sit back in the pocket, find his progression. Okay. Really good job right here and getting down to the three yard line and just a, a really good catch and throw. I know this is hard to watch a little bit because of the, uh, the snow, but it gets better after this drive. It was really the one drive that it was, but I just want you to watch Justin's foot, Justin's footwork right here. Okay, one, two, three, gets through it. Nope, okay, you can see his eyes right here looking at the shallow cross. Shallow cross is not even ready to get the ball. He gets to his basic right there, okay, and says, hey, you know what? My eyes have worked. I'm just going to throw it right there for an easy completion, but an important completion on third and nine to get inside the uh, three-yard line. All right, third and seven right here, same drive. They just went back a little bit, a little motion, okay, man zone read right here. This was a throw of the day for me. Okay, and you're going to see it a little bit better from the other view. But I love the fact on what they're doing is they're attacking single high coverage. And I've never really seen this. Like props to Luke Getze, the inside guy, usually is the corner route. But now they have him on the five-yard end. They have the outside guy on the five-yard end. Then they have a little bit of inside release corner, and he gains leverage on this. So great play call by Luke Getze right here for them to be able to get this in and out, okay? And they play like a zero hole. So it's just man to man all the way across. And these guys are just holding out and then they're going to in and out. So when they in and out, okay, you wanna take one guy, the inside guy, run out, but then come in, all right? Cause this guy could be open. And then you wanna run inside with this guy and out with that guy. 
And so you have leverage on a safety because they're not doing corners over right here for, I wouldn't say an easy touchdown because this throw is an absolute dime. We're going to see it from multiple different angles, in my opinion, right here. All right, good job motion over. You know they got the in and out. The play call is excellent. The execution is excellent. And I would argue that the last four or five games, look at this throw. The last four or five games right here, the execution has been really, really well, really, really good, and something that they can really build on going to next year if they have continuity at the quarterback position. That's the biggest thing that a lot of people don't understand, and no one will know. Ryan Poles, you got a difficult decision ahead of you. You guys know what my pick is, but a really good job, too, of just setting in the pocket. Okay, left tackle gets beat right right there, and, and number one just was able to step up just enough, get rid of it with a guy right in his face. It's hard to see, but this was guy was a lot closer than you thought. And throws an absolute dime before the defender is able to get there. All right, I think we're out of the snow. There you go. <clears throat> third and seven, another big-time third down play. Looks like the same motion they're running over here. I want you to watch this too, okay? Justin's making checks at the line of scrimmage once he gets it. Okay, watch Justin. He gives a little, little uh, call. He gives a signal. And watch what the offensive line does. They're able to switch the protection. You were going right. Now they're going left. All right. I like the call. In fact, it gets them picked up. Sorry, they were going left. Now they're going right. Okay, so Justin saw this safety going back. Okay, this is a big time play in my opinion. For a lot of different reasons. The throw is a big gain to DJ Moore. I get it. But the fact that he was able to make the offensive line go from going left to now, hey, you know what? Now we got pressure. They're bringing four strong or four weak, whatever you want to call it. Our center has to be able to get this guy, and our back has to be able to get this guy. So now they have four blocking these four, okay? And they're probably going to drop this end out because that's what they do, and they're doing zone. They're bringing zone pressure. I want you to see this whole thing again because this is growth to me, okay? Justin sees this, sees this this uh, safety go down. He flips it. They call flipper, flipper, flipper. Watch the all offensive line. Okay, hey, we're going right now. Let's pick up this uh, will free safety pressure. They're able to get it, and the throw and catch is what puts the cherry on top. It's pretty similar to the play they ran earlier, but a three-by-one version of it, you're going to clear out almost like a skinny post. You're going to have a corner out, and then you're going to have this little out and up, and this is definitely number one on the progression. This is number two on the progression. When I first saw this play live, I was like, oh, he's going to throw the corner because the corner route – is open to number 18 for the first down. He said, no, I don't need to throw at the sticks. Guy in my face, I'm going to launch this ball to DJ Moore. The chemistry between him and DJ Moore has been excellent all year long. Really impressed with what he's been able to do. Okay, let's see it from the other view right here. Okay, really good here by Fields. Understanding, hey, you know what? I got some issues over here. I need to flip the protection. Watch what he does. <clears throat> this is growth. <clears throat> okay, they're flipping it. They're going right. And they're able to get it picked up. All these stunts and everything gives Justin enough time to throw the football. And a, the football's a little bit thrown outside, but DJ Moore does a really good job of, of making the adjustment and catching it. All right, next play, second and seven. Look at this fake. And the pop and stop. Like getting him out on the edge is really impressive to me. Watch what these fakes do. Like, look at this. Like, they're running. So, they're running a shallow cross and an over route and a deep corner route. But the cell with the guard pulling, the cell with Justin gets him out on the edge. He's able to get to his number two progression on the run. Okay, with a guy chasing him. He's done a really good job with this lately. Just stopping and popping. This is a very difficult throw. If you leave this outside at all, it's intercepted. He made this look really easy, so I wanted to highlight it. These are the plays that I pick throughout the game that just stick out, in my opinion, in my mind. Here's a good look at it. You can tell they're going fast right there, so they have this play call already. So they're just trying to sneak 84 out on a shallow. Okay, if he's not open, then you're going to hit this over route. Really good job by Justin on the fake here. Let's watch that first. Okay. Look at him hide it. Love it. Okay. They actually do a good job with 37 right there. He's able to take this shallow cross away. And then I want you to now to get your eyes to 18 because 18 does a really good job. Hey, don't just run to run over there because everyone's running there. Justin stops. 
those guys fly right by you hit them right there for all you young folk that was a top gun reference my birth year 1986 okay first and nine three by one four nation second quarter they played really really well in the first half so we have a lot of first half highlights in this game and then look just Justin using his legs. Like, good luck getting to the pylon. I don't like the reach there because if he would have fumbled that in the snow, it would have been bad. Okay, but the key block right here, in my opinion, is this left guard right here. Okay, they're actually doing a stunt game. So they're doing a TE, which is a tackle in. Once you watch big left guard right here, take Calais Campbell, I think 93, into the area, and then Justin just does the rest. Like, not a lot of quarterbacks can do that. Okay, we're going to see multiple views of this, but I want you to watch this TE Okay, 76 is a good job getting up. Okay, this uh, 23 should be on 55, but sort of gets blocked uh, by this TE right here. Doesn't matter with Justin. You get through the first level with Justin, you're getting at least 10 yards. Atmosphere was electric. You could tell Justin was balling. Okay, there's been so much talk about him in the city. Are they going to keep him? Are they not going to keep him? What are they going to do? Guess what? It does not matter. Because he's balling. He's going to be a starter somewhere else. Could be the Raiders. Could be Atlanta where Pace is. Could be anyone else. And props to Matt Eberflus as well. Like doing a hell of a job with that team. Just another awesome play. This this play stood out to me because, yeah, I know, you know, it's a 16-yard completion. It's a big play. But I want you to watch Justin. Okay, just watch Justin right here. Because he does a hell of a job. He's out there. Okay, he's he's like, okay, here, here's what I'm doing. We're going to throw a shallow to an over. It's just a naked round. I'm not going to draw it up again because you know it's a shallow and an over. This is what they do. These guys are stacked a little bit. So what does Justin do? Okay, it's not there. His demeanor right there, he's like, okay, I'm going to attack the line of scrimmage, which is right here. I'm going to attack the line of scrimmage. Okay, and then this is the only guy that can make both. Okay, they're stacked. Okay, watch him attack the line of scrimmage full speed. Nope, you know what? You're open. Just take that. A lot of other quarterbacks would just run. He keeps his eyes open down the field that's probably the number one thing on what he's gotten better at and also you guys didn't see this but this guy right here he's the head coach and he got taken out arthur smith watch this not good oh he's able to hop right back up look how fast he gets up though that's what you guys miss on on the broadcast copy not happy about it shaking his head let's see it from this view really good play call right there they motion over they're showing like quarterback sweep and then he goes back and turns around and they're running a shallow and an over route to get uh, open. And I just think they've done a really good job of opening up the playbook this year, especially the last few games. Okay, I actually really like that what they're doing here is they're coming to try to seal the edge for Justin because it just makes it a little bit easier of a play. thought the offensive innovation has gotten a lot better. Look at him act like he's going to go run right here. Okay, he's throwing, runner, throw. Attack the line, running at the line of scrimmage, and then Arthur Smith gets taken out. Thought that was a really good play. Okay, here you go. Under center, two by two. Fake the play action. This play to me, okay, while he's getting hit, 25-yard play shows a lot of growth. I know it's just a shallow cross, but the way he's able to set up right here, okay, so they're using this little short motion right here. They're going out going just clearing it out he has what we call a gronk route eight to ten yard over route and a 12 yard basic so you want to hit here to here and then you can find your back somewhere in the flat is number three these guys are just clear out routes okay when that happens i want you to watch justin's eyes so his eyes are on the gronk route right here look at his eyes his eyes are to this tight end right here he's not open so he goes to the basic okay the basic ends it open I'll show you right here okay back to the basic he set his feet there perfectly and the way he used his eyes, he's able to get this defender to go away from this Gronk route, this shallow cross route. And then watch what he does back to it. Gets back to his number one read because he's able to use his eyes and there's no one over there. Exactly what they taught him. You can go one to one sometimes. It's not open a lot, but he was able to use his eyes for him to get open. Another growth measure and Justin Fields. Watch his eyes. Okay, so look. He's going to look right here. It's the Gronk route to this basic. Okay, not open. Okay, number one. Number two, not open. Players there. But watch what his eyes do just by looking this way. 
Okay, it gets 53 to go this way and allows this shallow cross or gronk route to clear just enough. He's able to get back there and fire a shot to the shallow cross as he's getting hit. See it from this view one more time. Guard pull, able to get this guy right here, this linebacker up. Once again, you're going to go one, two, back to one. Watch it full time, full speed. One, two, one. And he's getting hit. Should have been a late hit, in my opinion. Nice job finishing right there by 18. It's 21 to 7. This is the first play of the second half. Okay, so I guess they just decided to come out aggressive on first plays of the game and second half. Amazing throw by DJ Moore. Okay, I love this ball placement and the accuracy right here. The switch release really works. Okay, you have this deep pylon route. You have this switch release dagger. And it's a gun, so you got the back as a check down right there. Play action fake. Once he does that, really good job with a guy in his face. Throws a dime to him. And like I like how he leads him upfield rather than right here. Okay, I don't like people and quarterbacks to lead their guys upfield when there's underneath defenders or two high safeties. But he knows it's man-to-man, -man, so he knows there's no one in the middle of the field because they're blitzing. He's able to fire a shot on a dagger route see it from this view right here really good job by the offensive line i thought by blocking as well okay one two three really good throw this ball is wet it's an ugly game dj moore had another outstanding performance and this to me should have been caught look look the stats would have looked even better he gets to his second progression right here like tyler scott you got to catch that man got to catch it all they're doing a little play fake they're trying to sneak cole Komet out for a shallow cross Okay, you got this over route and you got this clear. So you're reading one to two to three. So he does a really good job getting to his second progression right here. And this throw is not high. Okay, he's got a perfect throw. Don't jump. Okay, the ball's right at your head. You don't need to jump. Doesn't get his feet down. I think you can see it from this view. We'll show both. Just a good job getting through his progression right there. Look, he's seeing Cole. I thought his eye discipline was really good this game. 13's wide open. Why are you jumping? Don't jump. Why are you jumping? Only gets one down. Not good. This is the last view. Look, at the end of the day, I think Justin has done more than enough. When your fans are chanting, we want Justin, we want Justin, front office, you got a very interesting decision to make.